Welcome to the world of adventure for a taste of Polynesia. Before visiting the lagoon and its humidity, let's enjoy the crisp air of Avorias for a visit to the origins of skiing. Destination Tahiti for a rousing sequence on a hang glider. This particular one serves more often as a trapeze than a regular flying machine. We remain in Tahiti for a rodeo through the coral reef, following Pilou de Vigne, one of the aces of jet ski. A quick stopover in Cancun, Mexico, for a reunion with one of the masters of barefoot skiing, the American Ron Scarpa, Aztec fever. to Tahiti for a unique vision of the island from a paraglider, still the best way to visit the South Pacific. We go up the Pacific to Hawaii to discover a very special form of surfing, body surfing. Leave your boards at home. Let's stay a little longer in Hawaii with a true master of the waves, the Hawaiian Laird Hamilton, as he effortlessly passes from funboard to surfboard. The lagoon of Moria and the slopes of Avorias, united by surf, only the temperature differs. More snow at Chamonix with the legendary Joel Géry Memorial. Manoski in the 80s, party time. Telemarking brings us back to the origins of ski. Invented in Norway, it is a particularly taxing discipline because of the many tiring yet aesthetically rewarding knee bending moves. traveling calmly in their luxury automobile, don't know that in a few minutes, they'll be transported back in time. Alain, Paul, and Espen, without forgetting their dog, Vagabond, think they know everything there is to know about the mountain. They have an appointment with the past and the origins of the most popular winter sport. It's not a new way to ski, nor is it a local folk dance on the snow. These men are practicing the forerunner of downhill skiing. Their sport is called telemarking. This is how Norwegians used to learn to ski. The main difference with modern skiing is that there are no rigid bindings. It very much resembles cross-country skiing, as the feet are not fixed on the skis. The heel is mobile which permits the skier to bend at the knees for better support. The ski behind serves as a rudder, pretty much like the poles we use today. In the past, skiers used a long stick to keep their balance. It was extremely hard on the joints of the ankles and knees, but it was also more aesthetic and graceful. 